tutorial is and in this video I'm going to discuss about Angular NG4 directive. Angular's NG4 directive is one of the most popular and most huge uh, directive in Angular. The NG4 directive is implemented with HTML template and this directive goes through every item in data collection. NG4 shows the result when we pass the NG4's value in double curly braces. The NG4 works with Angular HTML component. We use NG4 to loop through the item and show the list of the arrays. Whether you want to show the list of arrays in HTML component or you want to show the result fetched from API, this NG4 directive is very effective and throughout the Angular app you will be using this ng4 directive at every place so let me show you with example how ng4 directive work so first let's create a new project for that i'm going to use in node.js command line then cd dot dot cd angular Plus CD Oh, it's in my D drive that's why So CD Angular now press enter now let's create a project ng new ng4 Yes, yes, yes Okay, now cd ng4 and npm start. When it gets compiled, let's open Visual Studio Code. Click here to open folder. Then D drive, there we go. In angular classes and then ng4 this is our project now let's go to src and app and inside that let's click on app component.ts file now we will create here array let's create here one array inside this and then curly braces here so name rajes okay so this way so name rajes let's create more name here name kareem so these are the names we have this error okay so remember this is just for simulation purpose for learning purpose the actual array will come from api okay so for learning purpose just we have hard coded here the array so now we will call this array inside our head component.html and display the data here so let's delete everything now then i'm going to use here bootstrap so let's CDN this one let's go here then index just I paste normally I do this and here div class container ul L inside this li okay so here in this li we will use ng4 directive ng4 we will use here sorry ng4 equals to here students student of students 
and here we will call so check this syntax you need to write here star mark then ng4 student of student that means we are applying here loop so this is our actual array and we are just getting the value from this so here we will write here student dot name this way we can display the name of the student so for that let's uh, property student doesn't exist on app component students late student of student of students yes so let student of students now if you go here it's compiled so now we need to localhost 4200 so you can see there is the list of the students so the code is straightforward here this is array of the student so it is object actually name value name value so and now we are calling here in this one so ng4 late student of students that means this is our actual array and we are getting name like this now suppose you want to show here list like you know one two three four five so if you want to show like that then is it possible through ng4 yeah it is possible so for that we need to change here code so in this in section you will know how to show the index how to get the index value from ng4 directive okay so you need to write here late i equal to index let i equals to index and then if you want to show here the index in that case let's write here i and now if you check here you can see it's showing 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 but if you want to start from 1 because in ng4 the index always start from 0 so what if you want to so from one so simply provide here i plus one so it will start from one so one two three four five six seven so it's possible to so right here style seat style mm, style list style none okay yes so you can see now it's possible to show the index number as well and in this section you will see how to detect and display first and last element of the array suppose for first element you want to uh, show in different color and the last one you for if you want to show in different color then is it possible with ng4 yes it is possible let me show you in example so we need to write here late first equals to first and late last equal to last after applying this you will not see any difference for that we need to apply the class then you can understand which one is last and which one is first so this is the code ng class first and first last last okay so let's go to our style.css style.css where is it style 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 yeah here is it so we'll write here dot first background color then aqua last background color uh, purple now if you check here you can see the first row is displaying here in aqua color and this one in purple color so it's possible to apply 
conditional CSS automatically as you can see here we have just applied here ng class as you know ng class is a class directive of angular now suppose you want to show odd even so in ng4 directive there is an option to use odd even to show alternate color in your list so let's change here with uh, first odd equals to odd and even equals to even and here also this one and uh, odd equals to odd just to copy it here odd equals to odd and we need to change here color as well so odd and even now let's try here if we open then you can see it's showing you the alternate color so one this first one each order because if you divide one with two the remainder will be not zero so this is odd even odd even so this way you can show alternate color here in angular with odd and even in this section we will discuss about ng4 trackback so first you need to understand what is trackback by default angular list doesn't track but if you want and if need requirement be then we can track it by index so what happens suppose you have long list say 1000 list and in mid of the list if you want to insert or delete any element then by default angular refreshes the whole section the whole array but it's not good because applications become slow and the load is more on server to reduce this and to avoid this error we will use ng4 trackback this time i'm going to take a different array here okay different array so the array is something like this first there is employee then any and constructor and uh, this dot employees then this is employee code number then gender and annual salary date of birth etc okay so so how many records are there one two three four currently we have four records so first let's show here this time we will show here with employees okay so let employees let's delete everything else the time being let employees of employee so here you will write employee okay and here employee name and let's remove this okay so this time let's check syntax is almost same here this does employee this time we are taking more data and uh, so let's check here so all these details you can find in my website uh, here angular 12 ng4 directive angular 12 13 okay so in case you if you want to check the source code then you can find in my website here so now uh, you can see this is Rajesh, Green, Neha and Mary okay we are displaying here now we will put here one button for add one more record so let's create here one function add employee let's create a function called get employees and in that inside this we will just copy everything same from here we need to copy everything same and we will increase one more field here say employee code of something six seven and uh, in a and uh, female will shall we blah blah that about 81 okay so what is different here 
Initially, we will have four records, but after clicking this, we will display here five records. That means there is difference of one record. So now let's go here and let's add a button. There is nothing special in this button. The only thing is click get employees, refresh employees. Okay. So let's go. Here. Okay. You can see refresh employees. So let's open here. And go to your console okay delete everything no sorry here and click on a component and then div and then ul so that you can see all your records so currently it is displaying here for records right what I want when I click this refresh employees in that time this record will be called that means additional one everything will be same but additional one should display here so total will be this time five so by logic what should be done we are adding just a one more that means these are same these are same these are same but one more record called hina we are going to add more so simply it should add here Right, one more record but angular since doesn't track its record so what it will do it will refresh whole record let me show you you see here carefully okay then when click here you can see there is a blue flash you click then there is blue flash that means what it is regenerating the whole code okay so suppose there are only five if there is five thousand records so that means rather than adding at last one record it is refreshing the complete record so this way there is performance problem because uh, it will every time it reloads that means it will uh, put pressure on cpu or uh, server so to avoid this problem we will use ng track by so what it will do it will track that which one is existing and which one is added new so only it will refresh or add the new one rather than refreshing the complete list so let me show you so for that we need to change here add here one more class sorry uh, function that is called track by emp code you can give it any name what is happening here this this one is tracking the index number suppose we have five total so it is in the it is providing an index you just saw previously that it can uh, uh, you know, detect the index number and employ any from where employee so what's happening here from employee it will detect index how one two three four like this okay and then it will return employee code so based on employee code based on employee code it will detect which one is adding new right so now also we need to change here uh, in ng4 or ng4 directly where is this here we will need to add here track by track by emp code that means track by emp code so what is emp code this one okay so it will check which employee code is different so one two three four and here five five okay so it will check there is no change in this there is no change in this there is no change in this. it will not touch only this one will be added additional let's refresh here same app and check what happens okay if you refresh then you can see only this one is added additional right this one only is additional and only one time only one time previously what was happening every time we click it was refreshing every time but when we track by just refresh it and track by so it refreshes only one time and only the new record is generated 
and it is not touching it because it is checking the employee code if already exist or not so if it already exist then it is not touching just adding one extra only this flash one so that's the benefit of and this is really very beneficial this ng track by so guys hope you like this ng4 and ng audible ng first ng index and ng track by so if you like the video don't forget to share and also tell your friend to watch this video and get benefit so if still you have not subscribed please subscribe and thanks for watching bye bye